Hi, welcome to the KHCC garden. I'm here with some seeds, sunflower seeds. We usually plant them in the spring, but what do you think happens to seeds the rest of the year? I wanna read a book to you so we can find out. A very special book called The Tiny Seed. It's fall, just like it is now. A strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high in the air and carries them far across the land. One of the seeds is tiny, much smaller than any of the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? Where are they even going? One of the seeds flies higher than all the others. Up, up it goes. It flies too high and the sun's hot rays burn it up. It won't be able to grow anymore. But the tiny seed sails on with the others. Another seed lands on a tall and icy mountain. The ice never melts and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on, but the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. Look, a fish. Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water and drowns. It won't be able to grow. The others sail on with the wind, but the tiny seed does not go as high as the others. One seed drifts down onto the desert. It's hot and dry and it won't be able to grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low, but the wind pushes it on with the others. Finally, the wind stops and the seeds fall gently down on the ground. A bird comes by and eats one seed. It won't be able to grow in the bird's belly. The tiny seed is not eaten. It's so small, the bird doesn't even see it. Now it is winter. After their long trip, the seeds settle down. They look just as if they're going to sleep in the earth. Snow falls and covers them like a soft white blanket. Uh-oh, a hungry mouse that also lives in the ground eats a seed for his lunch. It won't be able to grow, but the tiny seed lies very still and the mouse does not see it. After winter comes spring. After a few months, the snow has melted. It's really spring. Birds fly by, the sun shines, rain falls. The seeds grow so round and full, they start to open. Now they're not seeds anymore. They're plants. First they send roots down into the earth. Then their little stems and leaves begin to grow up toward the sun and air. There's another plant that grows much, much faster. It's a big, big weed. It takes all the sunlight and all the water away from one of the new small plants and that little plant cannot grow anymore. The tiny seed hasn't begun to grow yet. It will be too late. Hurry, hurry, tiny seed. But finally, it too starts to grow into a tiny plant. Uh-oh, the warm weather also brings the children out to play. They too have been waiting for the sun in springtime, but one child doesn't see the plants as he runs along. And oh, oh no, he breaks one. Now it cannot grow anymore. The tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing fast, but its neighbor grows even faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plant has seven. And look, a bud, and even now a flower. But what is happening? First there are footsteps, then a shadow looms over them. 
Then a hand reaches down and breaks off the flower. A boy has picked a flower to give to a friend. It's beautiful and she likes the flower very much, but now it cannot grow anymore. After spring, it is summer. Now the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on. It doesn't stop. The sun shines on it and the rain waters it. It has many leaves. It grows taller and taller. It's taller than the people. It's taller than the trees. It's even taller than the houses. And now a flower grows on it. People come from far and near to look at this flower, the tallest flower they have ever seen. It's a giant flower. All summer long, the birds and bees and butterflies come visiting. They've never seen such a big and beautiful flower. But now it's fall again. We've spent a whole year with our tiny seed that turned into a tiny plant and then a big plant. The days grow shorter, the nights grow cooler, and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop from the giant flower and they sail along with the bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. The wind blows harder. The flower has lost almost all of its petals. It sways and bends away from the wind. But the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower. Once more, the wind shakes the flower. And this time, the flower's seed pod opens. Out come many tiny seeds that quickly sail far away on the wind. The end. So let's go through the story once more and you can stretch with me, okay? So as the story starts, the wind is blowing. Can you move your arms like the wind? And then one seed gets very close to the sun. Reach for the sun. The next seed lands on a tall, icy mountain. Can you be a mountain? Next, the seeds float and fly over the ocean. Can you make your arms waves like the ocean? And then they drift into the desert. Can you have big cactus arms? Cacti grow in the desert. The seeds settle down, but a bird comes along and eats one for lunch. Finally, they settle in for the winter like they're taking a little nap but a mouse comes by that's hungry. What sound does a mouse make? Good job, squeak, squeak. Once the mouse eats its lunch, the seeds curl up tight for winter and they take a nice nap. And then as spring comes, they put their roots deep into the ground. Can you push down on the ground for me? And then slowly, the seed begins to sprout and sprout more and then leaves open and finally a big flower and the flower reaches for the sun and the rain waters it and all of the bees and birds and butterflies come to visit with their flapping wings and then it's fall again and the leaves come down and the big wind carries all the new tiny seeds away. Thanks so much for having story time with me. I hope you enjoyed the tiny seed and did some nice stretches to go along with it. See you again soon.